The nationwide search for Miss Mummy Lottie Sundowns has taken us across the entire country, touching the lives of hundreds of women in each of our nine provinces. Of a large cast of potentials, 18 were chosen to come to Gauteng to participate in the grand finale, where the lives of three will be changed forever. I entered Miss Sundowns because I wanted to do more than just watch the matches off television or at stadiums. I wanted to do, be more proactive within the football club itself. I wanted to learn from it and I also thought of the opportunity that it might provide for me and the things that I could do with this title. I've grown so much in a space of three months. I've pushed myself to the limit and I know that I can do so much more for the Mamanoli Sundowns Club. The beautiful young women were in Gauteng for a week of getting to know each other, the club and preparing for the grand finale. And naturally, they were looked after in grand style. I'm a student, so I stayed raised. So when you wake up in the morning, you have to think about what you have to eat and how to prepare it. But here yeah, you get like breakfast room service and things like that, so it's super nice, yeah. It's my first time ever being in this experience, so now I'm growing. Each and every day I grow, I learn more. So every day for me is a highlight because I learn more things, I gain more confidence, I, I'm, I'm becoming a stronger person knowing that either way, I'm a winner. A trip for the girls to the famed Klorkop, home of Masandawana, was naturally a must on their jam-packed itinerary. Everything is, is a moment for me since I met Mr. Mtsepe himself when he was at the Free State for the KM Mtsepe Cup. I'm so honoured and blessed to be here and representing the Free State all the way. Being here is very exciting. We got to meet everybody, not just the players, but the management as well. Everyone at Sundowns is just a family. You know, it's nice to see that everyone matters and everyone is important. It's not only about the players or the president, it's about everyone, the staff, the ground staff, the cleaning lady, everyone is just as important. I mean, we see them on TV and you meet them in real life. They're very humble people that are down to earth and we can relate to. And yeah, it's been awesome. You think they're going to be like all cocky, but they were so humble. They were taking pictures with all of us. It was, it was lovely. I think I had a question for every player. Walked up straight to each and every one, like, where have you been? How are you finding South Africa? How are you finding Joburg? All of that. So I've been so excited to meet the players, ask them the questions I wanted. They're so friendly. They're pretty shy, but most of them were pretty excited to see us. And pretty good looking. <laughs> I have met 17 amazing sisters. At the end of the day, this is a competition, but we need to help each other as much as we can, and that's what we've been doing, and I'm grateful for that. The girls are stunning, and they all have something really, really good to offer. There's all something very unique about them, um, but they're lovely girls, and I've enjoyed getting to know them. The girls are, are all united together. We BBMing each other, when's lunch, when's this? We're all uniting just like a sports team should. My goodness, the competition is tough, hey? You see them go, oh, oh. but that's just the beginning. All the girls, I think, embody exactly what Sundowns is looking for. So I think everyone's got something different to offer, but in the same calibre. Community is key to Sundowns, and the girls went to show support to women who work within the community to make it a better place for those who are in need at the Mamilodi Hospice. The fact that this brand is associated in uplifting its community is really heartwarming. That it was genuine, it was sincere. Um, I mean, there's obviously lots of glitz and glamour to this, but that was really raw and real, which was really refreshing. Because every day you wake up and then you forget to thank the Lord on how healthy you are. That actually made me realize how blessed we are. At the same time, it's also amazing to see women of South Africa lending a helping hand to our communities and it was an eye opening and a blessing. And the passion that is in their eyes when they talk about what they're doing is truly an amazing thing. But the girls were primarily here to prepare for the final and each one had their own game plan prepared. My game plan is to keep it cool, uh, keep the nerves together and be at my base at all times and yeah, keep, keep calm. I think that's the base. If I work with my nerves, that's when my base will come out. Somebody's looking fabulous. 